before me as shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mithal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes, you will be thrown into his path again. Andraste preserve me. I must send you to him. I don't like this either, but what else can we do? You can show him it doesn't matter, that he will fall. Whatever happens, you will come back. Is that an order, Commander? No, but as one of your advisors, I strongly recommend it. <laughs> if you say so. Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. She was chasing Kieran. She said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait, this isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Alluvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Morrigan! Go back! I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. There he is! Who's with him? That's... Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So you're the one who took Morrigan's son? Nonsense. He came to see his grandmother, like a good lad. I'm told sense often skips a generation. Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go! As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son! That's quite enough. You'll endanger the boy. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. <gasps> you... are Mithal. You can't be Mithal, that's not possible. <laughs> Explain to me, dear girl, why I cannot be what I am. Whatever Mithal was, she died long ago. So she did.
I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald, indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mythal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> if Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth, and I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged. Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. So you lured us here. What do you want? One thing, and one thing only. I have to go now, Martha. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her. And now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Mother, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. 
until now. <gasps> Twas the well. Always grasping beyond your reach, despite all that I taught you. Whatever else you think he is, Kieran is still a child. And so much better behaved than his mother was at his age. Kieran, I... As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. No more dreams? No more dreams. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. Listen to the voices. They will teach you, as I never did. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. You truly had no idea what she was? I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt, and doubt is an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. Just be thankful you did not drink from the well. I am evidently tied to my mother for eternity. So Kieran had the soul of an old god. Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes. He has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. I must admit, I still can't quite believe what happened. It is as if something from ancient times stretched a skeletal hand into our present. Of course, the same could be said of Corypheus. Now we must prepare to face Corypheus himself. It seems Mother was right. The voices of the well tell me I will be able to match his dragon. All that remains is for you to find him.
Mother must be very pleased. If I see her again, I will have no choice but to do every single thing she commands. I feel certain what happened at the Temple of Mathal must somehow have been her influence. As I recall, you insisted on drinking from the well. Which she would have known I would do. So it's all a conspiracy? Corypheus too? Why not? He must have acquired that elven orb somewhere. I suppose we have little choice but to proceed and be thankful she assisted us at all. Do you trust what Flemeth told us? About what she is? I... I am uncertain. I knew there was more to her than I realized that she was not truly human, but this? I once found her grimoire, and that was where I learned her immortality was gained by stealing the bodies of her daughters. Flemeth claims I misunderstood. It is not forced on the unwilling. Meaning I might agree to such a thing? <sighs> Impossible, yet there seemed an undeniable sense of truth to the things she told us. All my years spent hunting for arcane mysteries, and the greatest was the one I left behind. So what do you intend to do now? Once Corypheus is defeated, I will take Kieran and leave. Where I will go is uncertain. I must consider the fact that Flemeth may yet have plans for me. I am, after all, her servant. Such a delight. Yet we must now consider the coming battle. I hope all I learned from the well proves worthwhile. Did you find what you need, Morrigan? I can match the Darkspawn Magister's dragon. Yes. As for matching Corypheus, that is up to you, Inquisitor. Believe me, I know. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys to... It seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Sacred Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late. Where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As you wish. I knew you would come. It ends here, Corypheus. And so it shall. successful in foiling my plans, but 
but let us not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place, at the wrong time. An interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. You're not proving anything by talking. Dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. You dare to touch an avatar of divinity? I shall sear you from the very heavens. Feel my wrath, little wretch. They can take you. You think to best me with your feeble magics? You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the Imperium. If you steel. desire death, you shall have it.
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! The breach is getting bigger! And then the fade swallows the world, right? Not like this. I have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus? The orb. Corypheus is dead. That's the important thing. Yet so much has been lost. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes. I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor! Are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
a moment, my lady. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. Oh, <laughs> now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a mage of all things, leading rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Am I imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? We have a moment. I think you're right. You brought us here. You are proof that the Inquisition made a difference. That we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. As much as I might want it for myself. All this pomp and ceremony? Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. And lived to tell the tale. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. Maybe you should keep working. I'll leave the title for last. Naming things is always the worst. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. The Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. How is that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Got anywhere in mind? If it's all the same with you, I'm pretty good right here. Anyway... The only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us, being alive, a 
and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But I want to. The part of me that's me needs to, after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. The servants are known to do that, yes. I don't think it was about the drink. I think it was something else. Um... What happens next? Where do we go? For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for... You know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them then? Ugh, you sound like a sister. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. that's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? I could use the company, because this doesn't seem like it'll end. Oh, a poor leader of everything. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning! Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tavinta could be. For Southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. Would that have anything to do with Iron Bull? <laughs> it might. You know how it is. Plus, what would you do without me? How will I ever know unless you go? Uh, clever. See? I keep your wits sharp. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If I told you the port was a little dry, would you burst into flame? You're joking, yes? Please tell me you're joking. What a disaster. Somebody was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost, but for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many! Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. 
An awful combination. But it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry? Build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes, it worked out far better this way. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain with the Inquisition. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor. A symbol of hope and change to so many. And you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. You are a great woman and I will always stand at your side. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Val Royale to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. And well, you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. The night is still young. You managed to slip away. I thought I might claim more of your attention after all. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Good. The battle's over. There will be a new divine. Yet I don't care about anything other than you being alive. Cullen. I don't know what happens after this. Neither do I. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, but a new war rages in the shadows. Gaspar, it seems, has learned his lesson well. Even the elves have no rest, with Briala's uprising rocking the empire to its core. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Alistair is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, 
the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She meets with their leaders, urging unity. Miraculously, her words take root, and for now, the Chantry remains strong. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the Circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people, they need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well.